welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. March 11, 2020, the I Promise to Do Better edition. First up, from Mingi Sun over at the Risk and Compliance Journal in the Wall Street Journal, there's been a surge in sanctions by the Trump administration, which has lifted compliance services. An increase in clientele is leading to swelling ranks, expanded offices, and competition for compliance professionals. Companies seeking to navigate an increasingly complex area of business, the avoidance of doing business with blacklisted companies and individuals, are turning to accounting firms, law firms, and other consultancies that offer services to handle these. The um, increase has uh, certainly been because of the Trump administration aggressive use of sanctions. Our second article also comes from the Risk and Compliance Journal at the Wall Street Journal, this time from Dylan Tokar. John Wood Group PLC has reserved $46 million to cover costs associated with a possible settlement with the U.S., Brazilian, and Scottish authorities over allegations of bribery and corruption. The settlements would resolve probes by five authorities in three countries. The company said it couldn't yet estimate the financial impact of a separate settlement with the serious fraud office. The investigation stems from the company's use of Unioil, which is alleged to have paid bribes to obtain business on behalf of many clients in the energy sector. Early in 2017, the DOJ and SEC began requesting information from uh, engineering firm AMAC Foster Wheeler, which Wood Group later acquired that year in connection with the use of Unioil. So it uh, looks like a uh, Unioil case may finally settle. Moving over to a coronavirus story, uh, in the New York Times, Kevin Rose says that uh, working from home is overrated and that while home-cooked lunches and no commuting uh, can provide uh, bonuses and benefits, it doesn't compensate for what's lost in creativity. He believes that working from home uh, really uh, decimates worker creativity, and it's something that uh, really should be considered carefully. Although during this crisis, I think this is certainly a fallback position that many companies have taken. Uh, I work from home, and uh, frankly, I like it quite a bit. And fans of remote work often cite studies who show people who work from home are more productive. Uh, But uh, the author here believes that the opposite may be true. And finally, our lead story comes to us from the New York Times as well. The latest Wells Fargo chief promises to reform the company's broken culture. Charles Schaff appeared before the House Financial Services Committee today with an ominous warning uh, that the last two Wells Fargo's chiefs to face Capitol Hill inquisitions resigned shortly thereafter. Unsurprisingly, Schaff tried to distance himself from his predecessors denouncing the flawed business model and broken culture the company had. The sense of urgency of people that are working inside the company is very different than it was four four months ago when he came on board. Whether or not he can turn things around at Wells Fargo is obviously a different question. Uh, Two board members who were scheduled to testify resigned abruptly, no doubt due to the uh, scathing uh, inquisitions they would receive at the hands of uh, the House committee because of their attempts Uh, at the board level to lessen the fines and penalties of Wells Fargo and, frankly, not be a part of any solution going forward. So we'll ask to see if Wells Fargo really has turned the corner. They've said they have done so several times in the past, yet uh, they continue to be pounded by regulators and the press. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening.